G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. This week we are at the Barramundi Fishing Park. It's in Howard Springs, just south of Darwin. It's 20 bucks a night front powered. Uh, you do get water hookup, which is a little positive. And there's a big dam here that you can actually catch Barramundi and Saratoga out of. Uh, tomorrow we plan on going into Darwin Harbour with a tinny, which we are so pumped about. I really want to feed a fish, especially uh, some saltwater fish if we can get any. There's a heap of wrecks and all that sort of stuff out there, which we should, uh, we should pull something out of, surely. Uh, but yeah, we're here for five nights and we're actually waiting on our drone to rock up. Uh, crashed at that Corella Dam, it fell out of the sky, straight into the dam. It was an absolute disaster, really sucked. But anyway, life goes on. Uh, and then from here we're heading out to Dundee Beach, which will be really cool. Can't wait for that, apparently you get some pretty good mud crab out there. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll catch us tomorrow on the water. Here we are, Fanny Bay boat ramp, Darwin. Northern Territory, you absolute beauty. We're about to throw in. We've got a few little marks we're going to go check out. Drop a few vibes on. Uh, we've got a bit of bait for Kate there, a bit of squid. So surely we'll be able to catch something. This might not be real graceful. Hold on. Jesus. Did say hold on. It's a bit of a beach launch here, eh? It's um. Probably not the brightest bloody idea to launch at that ramp, but it's really quiet at Fanny Bay, so just getting the boat off and on the roof and all the rest of that sort of crap, just a bit easier. Yeah, our old mate over here on the jet ski running around making a bloody mess, but oh well. Um, so today we're just using uh, Navionics. We're gonna use Navionics. There's a few little fishing marks. I mean, we don't have a sound or anything like that. Um, so we'll just use Navionics and we'll run out. It's only a couple hundred meters off the beach, uh, but it's just a fair way down the coastline. We got to run, but uh, yeah, we'll get going and we'll see you over there. Little Trevally. Happy with that? Yeah, I caught the first fish. <laughs> it's in Kate's knees. <laughs> but I want to drop another fish. Just go nice and easy on him. Problem is, is that there's a heap of sharks around here as well, so you can't really go too easy. Coming up. God. And we really want fish for dinner as well, so <laughs> no pressure. And the nets zip tied in as well. Once again. Ooh. Yeah, nice cod. We'll keep him for Ooh, dinner. Yeah, we'll keep him for dinner, I reckon. That'll come up really nice. Crumb him up and, uh, yeah, fish for dinner, you beauty. Darwin Harbour, producing the goods. We're about five minutes into the fight. She's doing well, you're getting it up. Oh, I'm gonna have some gun. <laughs> Go easy on it. <gasps> Yay! A big parrot fish. It's a big parrot. You beauty. Have a go at the size of this thing. Oh, I can turn the motor off now. Kate, you beauty. That is an absolute stonker of a fish. Wait till I get this out. Oh. Nice work. <laughs> My God. It's huge. Well, she's done it. She absolutely just destroyed me in fishing. Uh, turns out bait is definitely the way to go in uh, in Darwin Harbour. Anyway, the tide has just picked up immensely. It's seven metre tide today, which doesn't really go well when you're in a three and a half metre tinny. So we're gonna shoot back to the boat ramp. We've come probably about four or five mile um, up into the harbour. So that's all good. It's an absolute pristine day. I'm so spewing that this tide's ripping so much. But anyway, here's what it is. We'll 
head back and we might even come back out tomorrow, we'll see. But it took a little while this morning to get onto the fish. Obviously not having a sounder, just going off Navionics makes it a little bit difficult, but just using that, using that vibe is a good way to find a bit of ground because you, you hit the bottom and you can you sort of get a bit snagged here and there and that's good enough for me when it comes to fishing, a little bit of bottom down there and um, yeah, we'll definitely give that a go, which has worked today for Kate, you beauty. I got the little cod and Kate's got the tusk fish, which is awesome, they're fantastic eating, so we'll go back, fill it up and I bet you there's a few people around the caravan park that's gonna really like us this afternoon because it's a bit too much rush to, for us to eat. Uh, so yeah, we'll share it around and give give a bit away, but uh, you can't really let these tusk fish go. Like we're fishing in 20 meters, 20 plus meters of water here. So when they come up, they get barotrauma real bad and they just don't swim off. So we'd already kept the cod. Uh, so we got two fish, all good. That's enough for us. We're going back. We'll see you back at the boat ramp. Kate is one happy fisherman. You beauty. Fish, fisher woman. She's one happy fisher woman. You beauty. Righto, this is lunch today. Bit of Kate's tusk fish, fish that she caught before. All we're doing, I uh, filled it earlier on, but all we're doing is putting a bit of this coating mix on it. Cutting it up into just little sort of bite-sized pieces. Got the barbie going at the moment. Something like that, straight in. Uh, this is just one side of the fish. We'll throw a few uh, bit of greens on the plate as well, bit of lettuce, something like that. But we will start with it. And all you want to do, just put it back, put your lid on the container, give it a little toss. And that's it, all coated, straight on the barbecue. Just a little bit of oil on the barbecue, and I tell you what, fresh fish like that, you will not be able to beat it. That's the tusk fish all cooked up and uh, we haven't actually had a taste of it yet but I'll tell you what it's smelling pretty damn nice. A few veggies there and we're good to go. Not a bad lunch I reckon. Well we're just about to head down to Mindle Beach Markets. Uh, it's like a night market, heaps of food, all that sort of stuff there and uh, you get to watch the sunset. But uh, Kate was just telling me about this mat that we've bought. We bought it last time we are in Darwin from the markets. Um, so yeah, we'll take that down to the beach tonight, yeah. take a few drinks. Yeah, Should watch the sunset, you're allowed to take your drinks down, so that's, uh, that's always a positive. We'll take a few beers, and uh, pretty classic that we've been here probably, I don't know, four or five years ago and, and actually bought this mat from there, so. And Joe doesn't remember. I don't remember it, i got a terrible memory, can't remember what happened yesterday, let alone five years ago, so. Anyway, uh, it should be good. I do remember something about some pretty nice food though, so uh, I'm pretty excited to check that out, and I'm starving. We had that tusk fish for lunch, which was a bloody amazing, but I didn't actually have brekkie this morning. I was too excited to go fishing. But uh, anyway, all good. We're gonna head in there now. We'll see you in there. Tell you what, it's been a big week for the old back pocket, this one. First a drone, and check this out. We've got ourselves a new bum -ba -da -dum, boat trailer. Just picked it up off Facebook then. I've been looking for one for a while. It's, it's all good taking the boat on and off just for a day trip, but when you camped up somewhere for a week or so, it just makes so much more sense to have one of these little boat trailers. Information about it? I have zero. I don't even know. Flippin' easy. There you go. Flip. It's a flippin' easy boat trailer. Yeah, don't know, don't know what I got myself into here, but we're just gonna have to, I'm gonna pull it all apart now and um, go over it, make sure it's all good. 600 bucks, cheap as, I thought, for a or a flipping easy boat trailer but yeah basically all it does is it just collapses up and uh, you can put it behind the van so most people excuse the mess we've been here for a while now and we're just pulling everything apart sorting it all out but most people put them here 
I mean, obviously we've got a fair bit of stuff already here, but might be able to move something around to make it fit. Um, potentially pull the tire off and try and mount it underneath, or I don't know, we'll do something. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Just a couple of the pins that hold it all together are a bit rusty. Literally haven't even pulled it all apart yet to like flip it all away. I might get the boat off now and put it on the trailer and see how it all sits on there. And then I'll get to uh, pulling all the pins out and sort of sussing out where I'm actually going to store this thing. It's about 60 kilos, it's not too heavy. Um, but it's currently registered in WA, we're from Queensland, so we're just in the process of sorting that out now, getting it registered to us. So we're not doing anything wrong, and that's Kate's big job. Still on hold. She's been on hold for a little while now. But yeah, I'll tell you what, it's just all happening here at Darwin. We need to just go back off grid for a couple of weeks, I think. We're spending too much money here. But now that we've got the boat trailer, I think it'll make our lives so much easier, uh, particularly mine. I mean, I have even heard of some people actually flip the trailer up with the boat still attached, like flip it all up onto the roof. So I'll have a quick look at that, see how heavy it is, because I don't have a boat load or anything like that, so I physically have to throw the thing up there myself. With another 60 kilos on it, I don't know if I'm capable of something like that. But uh, we'll have a look and we'll see what we find. just come into Berry Springs now we've actually been here a few years ago uh, luckily trilled and I tell you what it was amazing back then so hopefully it's pretty cool this time no doubt it will be and a little hot tip when you're around here bring goggles because uh, last time it was absolutely loaded with archer fish uh, which was really cool to swim around with hopefully we'll find a few today We just left Darwin this morning, left the city behind and we're at Dundee Beach. Now this is a free camp, uh, it's actually not on wiki camps, it's on HEMA maps, um, but it is there. It's just before Five Mile Beach, it's called Stingray Head. Now we haven't been in here yet, but I'm pretty excited. Everything that I've heard about this place, it sounds insane. The crabbing and the fishing should just be off its head, I reckon. Uh, it's oh, it was about an hour and a half drive from Howard Springs where we were in Darwin, but I tell you what, it's good to get out of that place. The people that are there at the moment is just insane, so. Oh, it's good and we won't spend any money. This is a free camp, so we're gonna be here for a week or so, maybe even a bit longer. We've full of water, uh, full of food. We are ready to rock and roll for, for at least a week. So we'll, uh, we'll get in there. We just hit the dirt now. Uh, we'll get in there and we'll show you around. We got here yesterday afternoon and I was that excited that we just ran down to the creek. Uh, it's about oh, four or five hundred metres away from camp. Threw crab pots in and I forgot to take a GoPro. So that's my bad, but we're gonna go get them now, see what's in them. We're gonna put two in. Uh, and I threw the cast net and got a few mullet for bait. So, sorry about that. Are they not a size thing up here? Yeah. 
Oh, oh it's a boy too. Yesterday afternoon, just before dark, I actually went down to another creek, walked up it, and I uh, pulled two little barrow out of it. But I just took a, the other GoPro, and uh, the footage is a bit average, but I'll throw it on now. Yeah, you go on. Uh, it's day two. Come in here solo yesterday, and today we brought Croc, and he's nailed it. Yeah, can only get bigger now, boys. That's, that's first barra. Yep. First barra, you beauty. Just made it to Dundee Beach boat ramp. We're about to put in. Uh, we got Croc with us this morning. We're doing a little tinny mission, both of us. And uh, this is the first time we've got the boat trailers out. So you beauty, it's working an absolute treat so far. I have a place called, um... Anyway, we're gonna get these boats in and uh, we'll see you out there. There's a few sharks and stuff jumping out off the coast here as well, which is pretty cool. But uh, no, pan no real plan this morning. We're just gonna see if we can catch something. There's a few boats around, so we'll uh, we'll go have a chat to them and see where to go fishing around here. Righto, we got a fish. Kate's onto a big one. It's a full mullet, so um, this could be a shark or yeah. oh. we're just watching Todd. dolphins. Pump and wine, pump and wine. I've got no pump left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a big cod, eh? Not a shark. There you go. Keep going. Well, that's it, fishing at Dundee. Um, no good, a couple of sharks and yeah that's really about it but tell you what I'm so pumped about this boat trailer eh? it's made my life so much easier, absolutely love it, check it out. If you're planning on doing a trip, an extended trip with a boat, make sure you grab yourself a boat trailer, it is so good, like I can't even describe to you how good it is. Boom, back it in. Get the boat out, off you go. Then you can go back to camp, have a beer, take it apart at your own time without worrying about other people on the boat ramp. So, definitely worth it. Anyway, we're gonna go grab something to eat now and head back to camp. The time has come, we're packing up. We're off, we're heading towards Kakadu now. Uh, we're gonna sort of zigzag our way up there tomorrow, but yeah, packing up today. We went out in the boat, but yeah, just didn't manage to catch anything worthy. That's all good, these things happen. You can't win it every time, and I tell you what, it's pretty difficult when you don't have a sounder. You're just sort of bottom bashing. And uh, it's on Navionics, it says it's all uncharted out there, so you don't even have Navionics to really go off. Anyway, all good, we're packing up, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, eh? Cheers. Don't
call me up.